part will make the central core of the Rubik's Cube. Here I'm making the walls for the center piece. The curved walls facing the inside will be created in SketchUp. Now it's off to SketchUp. Draw a 1x1 cube and extrude it downwards. Now draw a line in the center to find the midpoint of the square. Take the circle tool and make 1 radius circles as shown. Make another circle for a predetermined size of the axle. We'll make the axle later. Extrude the circles both directions, making sure that they go past the length of the cube. Now extrude the smaller circle all the way down. Select the entire model and intersect it together. Keep selecting and removing features of the model until you are able to select these two pieces. Cut them, delete the model, and paste them back in. Use the unfold tool to flatten the model. Refer to my programs tutorial on how to export this model into AutoCAD. Next we'll make the axle. Here's a model of the axle to visualize it easier. Notice that it is comprised of three separate cylinders. These are the dimensions I used for the axle. The last piece is the center cube. It's the same size as the diameter of the axle. You'll notice that throughout this tutorial I didn't add any tabs. I highly recommend you add tabs. To add a tab, pick a side you want to attach the tab to and offset it the thickness of the paper. Now just draw the tab. I know there will be questions to this tutorial, so please post them in the part that it pertains to.